and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing one of my favorite birds. A pelican. I don't got any pelicans where I live so whenever I go somewhere that has a pelican I'm so excited. I love them. They're weird and they're silly and they fly around like in a crew and it's hilarious. Oh my gosh, love pelicans. I even saw these, this one pelican like these guys were fishing on the dock and it was like every time they weren't looking it was like hopping over to <laughs> grab some of their bait in their bucket. It was so funny. They're just so weird. Anyways, love them. I love birds. There's probably a reason why I do a lot of bird drawings, but oh, pelicans are funny. Anyways, so grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. Alright, so we're going to be doing a pelican. A pelican. So excited. I love. I love them. They're just so cute. Alright. Let's begin with Pelican's head. We're gonna draw some zigzag lines for the top of Pelican's head here. Draw a curving line. We're gonna put the beak. We're gonna draw one long line out. And back in, this one's gonna be a little bit more narrow. Add a nostril on the top. And now we gotta draw the bottom of the beak and the gullet there. It's a nice big long gullet. And we'll add a line across there for the top of the beak. And we'll add some little lines down the side here for some texture. Okay, bring the head across. Just a couple lines inward. In the face, we're gonna draw a circle for the eye. We're gonna draw one circle down and one more on the inside. You can color the dark of the pupil, leaving the rest of the white of the eye and the shine and the light on the inside. And I like to take the tip of my Marker and just add some wrinkly skin around the eye socket there where the feathers aren't. Then you can add some feather texture just like that. All right, next we're gonna do our pelicans. Next, we're gonna draw a nice curving line down from the head and in the front. Add a wing. I'm gonna do smaller feathers first and then add some flight feathers that are a little bit longer above that with some bigger kind of zigzag lines. And add some texture on the inside like that. And then I can have a little tail peeking out at the back and just by adding a few zigzags. Draw a little body and connect it at the back. I'm gonna draw one leg coming out in the back here. And add a little foot. And we'll just do a smaller one because it's farther away. Just like that. All right. We'll add some texture to the body with some zigzag lines to add some detail, make it interesting for our viewers to look at by adding some dashed lines and some texture. Kind of make it interesting, guys. Start making some marks. There we go. Go around the top of the beak here and add some more finer lines to get that nice pelican face texture. Oh yeah! And once you're done, you are ready to color your pelican! So cute. And 
of course, you can color it in using your choice of colors and art making mediums. Once you're done coloring it in, your lovely pelican is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artstastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.